So what are you planning on seeing when you're in London? Oh, everything that I can possibly see. And it's London has changed so much since I lived here that I think I'm honestly going to take a tour, <laughs> a city tour. So when did you live here? I lived here in the late 60s. I was a student at Central School. All right. And uh, studying? Studying acting, yeah. And um, so what was it that brought you here in the first place? I mean, what, what was it that got you into acting? Oh, I don't know. I, I, you know, truthfully, it was a, it was a professor of mine, and he asked what I was going to do after I graduated college, and I didn't have a clue. And he said, "Why don't you try to be an actor?" And I said, "Well, I, how do you do that?" <laughs> he said, "Well, I know this school in London," and then it all fell into place from there. And having had somebody influential in your life like that, how do you find that when people respond to you like that now, with, with the fans at these kind of conventions? Oh, how sweet to say that. I can't imagine that I'm, a, I'm particularly anybody's influential person, but if I were, I would say carry on, you know? If you have a passion for it, you love what you do, then go for it. I'm semi-retired at the moment, but what I, what I did for the latter part of the time that I, was, that I was still in the business was primarily theater, working with new plays and new playwrights, and uh, I also got a master's degree in psych with a concentration in drama therapy, so... Yeah, I've, I've had a rich and varied life and I continue to and, you know, things come up from time to time and life goes on. And when you were making Certainly Back to the Future and Gremlins, did you even get a vague idea that you would still be doing this kind of thing 30 years later? Yeah, I think I always, well certainly not coming to an autograph show where people were still enthralled with these particular films, which is wonderful. I mean, it's just an extraordinary position to find yourself in. But did I think I'd still be involved in the arts and doing theatre? Sure. And of the two, would you prefer to be doing stage or film? I don't have a preference. It all depends on the project and the people I'm working with. So if there was a director or producer who phoned you up tomorrow, who would you like it to be? Oh, there are so many. I, I, there are so many that I really am enthralled by and interested in. I don't I don't think I could pick and choose. And it's hard to think in this atmosphere. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you so very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!